Hey gamers, it's Grand This Game here. Back with Songs of Six. Um, I've been learning more and more about this game, and it's got a lot of depth. It's got a lot of complexity hidden behind all these little menus here. Up in the top left here, we got uh, Citizens. If we click this, we can see that they have two things here. Loyalty. Um, and you want to keep this high, otherwise you get riots. Uh, and also happiness, which luckily we're at 100% at the moment, but we can see it dip down here for various reasons. And all the reasons are actually contained in these menus down here. So if you click on population, you can see some of the things that cause it to go down and up. Um, and these numerical values here all kind of roll up into one big value, which I think uh, changes happiness. Fulfillment, 42 over 93. So we, we, we want to eventually be 93 over 93, if that's even possible. Uh, under access, you can see the more food that they have stored up, food days, the happier they're going to be. And you can see in the past, when I was running out of food before the harvest last episode, that had fallen down quite a, quite a bit. Um, drink rations, we don't really have any drinks for them, so that's kind of hurting. Uh, and then there's other stuff in here under services. There's quite a few points I don't have under services. Like uh, meals. Uh, there's two kinds of meals here listed, it seems like. Uh, we don't have baths yet. We do have some wells, but we don't have full coverage. And you can also see spots where this is our hearths. We don't have enough of those. Uh, we don't have any health care. We have a new spot, but it's not good enough. I think I need to carve out some room around the new spot. Oh, we don't need stages, that's under research. We'll try to get that done this time, this day. Arenas, maybe today. Lavatories, we're gonna rebuild the bathrooms to give them better bathrooms, because they're kind of underwhelming at the moment. And then there's more, there's environment, there's lighting, see we have no lighting, so that's getting a zero. Uh, we get points for pillars, statues, and trees. And if you kind of look there, it says this is liked by your citizens. Certain races like trees, certain races don't. Like flower beds, your citizens don't care about flower beds. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, you also get points for battle and stuff here. Religion, there's a lot of points to be unlocked here. But we haven't unlocked religion yet. And we'll eventually build a temple of Krator, because that's where, that's the religion that most of our people like. And then eventually we'll get graveyards too. <clears throat> Occupation. I don't know too much about what's going on in here. Uh, but retirement. We don't have a retirement home yet. So we'll eventually want to build one of those. And then government. I know nothing about government yet. So we're not even going to touch that. But we're going to work on some of the services uh, today to try to get them happier. Even though they're at 100% happiness. We're going to try to take more people in. We got 25 days of food right now, so I think I'm gonna I'm safe to take in more people here. We're gonna authorize 16. I think if you take in too many people too quickly, it can cause happiness to go down. So there's that. And one thing I learned about this race, they don't actually like having their own homes. So we built them nice little apartments here. Uh, they don't actually like that. <laughs> As it turns out. Uh, you can kind of see that under, it's under here somewhere, let's see, uh, housing, home privacy, you can see, it says this is disliked by your citizens, higher value equals less fulfillment, and it's almost at 100% because we gave them all private houses, so we're gonna, we're gonna try to swap all the housing out to the least private houses, which are under here somewhere. Let's find this housing. So apartments have 100% privacy. <clears throat> houses are less, dormitories are less, and then long houses are the worst. So I'm thinking of building them a bunch of long houses. Now we gotta fit these in here somewhere. Uh, I might knock down some of the private housing first and then rebuild. That might be the easiest way to do it. It could, could cause some unhappiness briefly, but, uh, or we could tuck it in somewhere else. What do we got here? The eatery. Hmm. I don't want it to be too far away from their homes. 
So this is kind of the housing block right now. I think what I'll do is probably knock it down. We'll do uh, smart remove and knock down their private housing here. We'll speed the game up here and let them knock that down. And then we'll put a dormitory in its place. Now we might get some homelessness out of this. Keeping a close eye on food as well. Because the, the food is going to go down until our crops are ready. Now the crops come in in summer and they only come in once a year. If you kind of keep, I kind of watched one for a whole year. And you can see right now, there it's in the tilling. So it tills all the way through autumn and winter. And then in the summer, or the spring, I think they plant, and then summer they harvest. So it's kind of like that. Okay, we got some space here. Let's do, I'm gonna use the search here for housing. Housing, longhouse. Let's see what's the biggest one we can fit in here. I think I might go this way. Now the road is there. I don't know if I'll be able to build over the road, but we're about to find out here. 428 logs to do that. Oh, it could be even bigger. Let's go massive. Let's go full size here. And see if that is okay. <clears throat> and then once they've moved in there, we'll knock this one down and kind of rinse and repeat. Now I'm not sure what's going to happen with the road there. We'll find out here in a second. <laughs> extreme, extreme temperatures. Okay, it's going super low. There is a hearth for them to warm up at. So we'll keep an eye on them there. If there's blue people showing up at the top here, we know they're starting to freeze. We do have some uh, deranged people, so we we'll want to keep an eye on them. We do have more people that came in here, so maybe we'll take 20 more. I don't want to go too overboard on the people because I want to keep the farms keeping pace with everything. It's flashing red. Hmm. Hopefully that's okay. Okay, these are going in. We'll get this finished off first. You can hear them snoring away. Uh, they almost finished. Isolation 100%. Okay, so that's done. We don't have any homeless. I'm going to start knocking these ones down real quick. Smart remove. Do that next. Blast through that. Got some rain coming in. Yeah, that's all done. Uh, we don't be homeless, so I'll knock down the next one. I think we have lots of room in this thing. We have... Oh, let's see here. Why is this one showing up white? Not quite sure. Uh, maybe that's moved in versus not. Citizens. It's 15 per unit here. These ones could only hold two each. So yeah, it's hot, way higher density housing. And our people like it, so... Oops, we kind of like it. Uh, let's knock down one more here. Smart remove. What happens if we remove roads? Can we remove roads? Yeah, we can remove roads. I think they automatically do that, though, once they build over top. I'm not sure where my citizens thing is flashing here. Oh, happiness went way down. That's not good. Um, maybe because the food is going down. Could be. Right, we could zoom in here and find out all the little bits that are causing issues. Uh, I think, let's see here, what went down? Oh, this went way down. Occupation went way down. Oh, we don't have any people working. That's probably the issue. <clears throat> okay, we do have some other jobs and stuff we could get people doing. Let's put in another research. This is a laboratory. I want to put in another laboratory. I'm going to shift, left click just to copy this whole thing like that and we do have quite a few research points here and so I'm gonna start using that and we're gonna sell some stuff as well if we go in here click this 
We can do custom sales. I'm going to sell the livestock that we have. We click this thing, special order. Um, and we're going to sell all 26 of these for 3.7k. We're going to raise some funds to buy some other stuff. Anything else we're swimming in that we could sell? Not really. We're going to need all that stuff. Okay, there they go. They're building more research. Let's see what we can research. We'll slow it back down here. We already put one point in farming, which is giving us a 10% bonus in vegetable farms, fruit, grain, and mushroom. There's one down here that per that helps with spoilage. I've already put some points into. But there's also this one, trade negotiations. This is going to give us better prices. So we're going to do this one. 250 points. And what else can we do here? I did the ration maker last time. Um, so we might want to build that this time. Industrial crop optimization. We're not doing that yet. This costs 750 for the next 10%. I think I'll not do that yet, just yet. There is one juicy one here, the improved laboratory, which costs 1200, but gives us potentially 50% boost in research. Lighting. Stage. You know what? I want the stage. We're going to go for stage. And maybe the next thing we invest in will be the improved laboratory, because then we can really crank up the, the learnings. And this will employ a bunch of people. This should employ another 20 people, which will keep them happy. We'll zoom through that. Assuming they have everything they need. Yeah, should have everything they need. There they go. Built. Okay. There they go. That, that. You got 22 people employed. And look at the research points come in. Nice. Okay. That's done. Now the bathrooms. I wanted to redo the bathrooms. These ter bathrooms are terrible. And this I'm going to knock down. Because these are the private, private homes. We don't need these. And I think this is a private home here. Oops, I clicked the person and not the uh, building. This is housing. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to free up the space. We're going to put a big ass bathroom in here. Because this little bathroom is not keeping them happy enough. I got a big list of things I want to do this episode, so we're going to crank through it. I want to show you a potential better way to do farms as well this episode. Okay, we got one little piece left here. Okay, that's gone. Let's put in a new bathroom. I'm going to search for our lab here. Lab. Okay, let's see how big we can make this beast. I'm going to go all the way across here. Hopefully we can fit the latrine in there. We'll put in a latrine. I think we can flip this around, put it against the wall. Latrine. Latrine. Basins. This is for hand washing. I guess we'll stick that here. Can we put another one in there? It's weird that you can't put it. Anyway, that's fine. And we'll put some doors in here. Door, door. And that's probably... Maybe a door here as well. As long as the isolation doesn't go up. If you put too many doors... Like if I put keep putting doors in, the isolation starts to go down. And you can read the text there. Pause and read. It's uh, not good to have too much isolation, so we'll remove those. And that should be good. 46 furniture. We got 75 left. That should be good. And we'll zoom through that. Keeping an eye on food. And once that's built, we'll take out the smaller, crappier bathroom here. And then we'll check our happiness meter after that's all done. See if we've improved. 
Okay, I think that's ready. Plumber. We got some. We got to get some plumbers in there. I think they'll eventually go in there automatically. Plumber two. There we go. Okay, we got two plumbers in there. Let's knock down this other one. I tried to be fancy with my layout on this one, and it just didn't quite work out. <laughs> we go. Knock that down. Okay. Now, I think we can maybe make a bigger version of this. This has some kind of radius around it, I think. But let's see if we can put a better speaker in. Uh, it's. I find it easier to search in here than... Uh... Now, can we make a bigger one? Is this... No, that's the max size. Okay. I'm gonna put another one in. Surface is 20. Yeah, let's put in another... We got a lot of people, so I'm gonna put in... Three of these. And you know what? I'm also gonna put in some decorations, because people are gonna congregate around here. So under construct decorations, we have trees. So I'm gonna put a big-ass tree here. Takes 48 logs. We'll get that built. <clears throat> I hope they're happy with their new bathrooms. <laughs> this is deluxe compared to what they had. Oh, we have some homeless. Okay, I better go fix that before we get too carried away here. We got a bunch of spacers, so I'm gonna shift click this whole thing if I can. Control click. I wanna. Let's see here. Maybe I can't shift click it, or can I? No, well, we can we can do it another way. We can do copy here. Copy area. We can also do save blueprints. But I think I'm just gonna do copy area. Like that. And then we'll make another one right here. That should be good with that layout. Okay. Let them build that up. That's going to take some time. We might actually run out of wood in that process. We do have a wood, couple of wood choppers here. One here making 21 logs per time unit. <laughs> I think this is... Uh, produce this year two times. I think this is... Hmm. Each day. Yeah, that's each day. Okay, good. Plus, there's a smaller one here. I guess we could have made it bigger. 14 days of food and going down. But we, we will have a harvest coming in the spring or the summer. So I'm not too concerned about this. But it is going to affect their happiness a little bit. Happiness is back to 86. So access looks a little bit better. Services. Uh, we need more wells. Um, we need more hearths. Okay. We'll do that once this is built. I don't want to get them too... too busy here. we got to fix the homeless problem. That's going to hold a lot of people, so then we can knock this one down. Safely. we got one person who's really cold here. We're going to build a bigger hearth, hearth though, so... Hopefully we don't get raided. We do have an army that's uh, decent, but I want to get some... Oh, we just got eight really cold people. Okay, let's make sure we got... The hearth is... Uh, where is that thing? It's in the throne room here. That's not big enough, actually. So we're going to build a bigger one of those. The uh, hearth. We're going to build a big-ass one here. Oh yeah, that is the max size. Okay, let's put it... Um, it actually is an outdoor thing. <clears throat> We're going to put it down here by this, I guess. Actually, that might get in the way of that. I'll put it up here. Right there. What does that take? 56 wood, 56 stone. We're out of wood. I might go chop some trees, actually. They do grow back, so I've noticed that. So, 
I'm not too concerned about like stripping them all out. We'll clear this off. We're gonna build stuff here later anyway. We're gonna make a ration maker later, which requires um, herbs and spices. No, herbs and vegetables. Spices and herbs. You'll see. Okay, and we got lots of research. I'm gonna do the uh, research upgrade. 1200 knowledge, yes please. And for that to actually help, it gives us the it gives us the ability to upgrade, but it doesn't actually upgrade it. So if we look in here, we can do an upgrade. One of the upgrades, we need 28 metal. And metal we're gonna have to buy. I don't have that enough cash for it yet, but let's see how much it costs. 183 each. We might be actually be able to buy it all. Uh 17. We're gonna buy the max. Sure, why not? That leaves us poor, but you actually lose money. Uh, if it's just sitting there, you lose money to inflation, which is kind of interesting. So better to have that money used for something useful. And I probably need a place for the metal to go. Let's make sure we got a uh, spot in here for that. Metal going in there. Okay, that's good. Homelessness is fixed. Uh, this little building I'll knock down. Okay, that's a lot of wood. <laughs> okay, and we got our, we got our, um, oops, did that just remove that? Oh no, I didn't mean to remove that. <laughs> oh no. The thing I just built, I knocked down by mistake. Okay, we're gonna build it again, I guess. Earth. That sucks. Okay. Hit the wrong key. All the stuff was right, right there. I don't know if you get all of it back, though. They can rebuild it. They can get good at building. Okay, what's going on here? Prisoners. Crime. Oh, crime is up. 10% crime. Flashings? <laughs> Uh, I wonder if that is, is, I wonder if that's what I think it is. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Flashings. Okay, prisoners. Uh, I don't have any um, any stuff for that just yet. Got 194 people. I'm gonna stick to the plan here, though. Uh, what was in this building? A laboratory, a small one. How much metal do we have here? Yeah, we don't have any metal coming in. Let's check the map and see if we have any inbound shipments. We should. Here it comes. 26 metal coming in. Beautiful. Where is it in relation to us? Uh, we are... Where the heck are we? It's not easy to find your own place. Oh, uh, here. We're up here. This one. Anyway, so they'll eventually get to us. Okay, housing. Housing. Available 75. Okay, we're going to knock down this house here. Smart remove. Oops, it's got a little section there. Okay, that's getting knocked down. Research points are coming back. That's good. Oh, our, our wood storage is full. That's not good. Let's let's pick that up a bit. I have lots of we have lots of storage, so that's okay. Okay, what was else was on my list here? Uh, food days. That'll get fixed. I don't want to take on any more people just yet. The hearth's in. And we put in another laboratory. Laboratory. And that's going to take 28 metal. And how much was coming in? 28. Uh, check the map again. 26. Oh, too short. Man. Okay, we're going to have to sell some stuff to make some money here. We could sell some wood. Let's sell some wood. Uh, real quick 
here. Wood. Special order. Sell 600 for... Sell 200 for 600. Sounds good. Okay. And let's keep looking at the happiness here. We're back to 100%. Okay, that's good. Loyalty's going up, trending towards 127%. I'm not sure how that's possible, but... And then population. Wrongful deaths? I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, maybe they froze in the winter? Oh, wow, yeah. It's possible they froze or something? Uh, that's in the past. Probably didn't have enough warming for them. Okay, the thing about the crops I wanted to show you guys. Let's get into the daytime so it's a little bit brighter out. Okay. I like this little fire burning here. Available services 28. Actually, let's check that first. Let's make sure services... Uh, wells. We need another well. Healthcare is zero. Uh, we actually need another hearth. Now, it's possible that this hearth is not reaching down to our clay farm here. The, the people who live down here are actually not doing very well because... Um... Because they don't have any services. So you know what? Let's put a hearth down here, maybe. It doesn't need to be a massive one. We'll make a small one down here. And we're going to switch their housing out to the less... The, uh, let's put it down here. That way they can quickly get warm if they need to. Yeah, these remote workers, they kind of got the raw... The raw deal being all the way down here. But that was where the clay was, so... Oh, there's the body pile. So yeah, people did die. Man, I think they all froze to death in that cold snap. Okay, so food. This is kind of an interesting concept. <clears throat> we can dig canal. And you can see the water table is 3070. But if we remove water, let's remove some water. Remember it was 3070. If we remove this water here, Fast forward. Then check our water table. You can see the water table went up. So at every single unit of water, tile of water, gives you back one water table. And we have quite a bit water table, quite a bit of water table right now. And if we look at our overlays here, there's two fertilities. There's base fertility. So bright spots are better if you right click you can see the base is 93 and the fertility is 93 uh, let's actually turn that off real quick and we're going to go back to fertility this is the actual fertility taking into account the fertility so bright spots are better and you'll notice like near water it's amazing if we zoom in we can see fertility here is 100% the base is 86 but because it's water it's 100 and near really close to the water 100% all the way up to here so you can see this this water influences all the way up to here <coughs> so we're going to take advantage of this concept to build our giant farms these little one-off farms that I've been doing have been fine but we're going to go a little bit more seriously into this and I want to build near base fertility and that's kind of in this region here we can kind of start here and make our way over, but this is going to be the farming district in this area. If we zoom, if we look around here, most of the map is actually pretty crap, uh, except this is decent over here. But near our village, the best spots are kind of right here. So if we start here, here's the idea. I kind of tested this out a little bit off camera. If I dig a canal, we're going to do some irrigation, essentially. We're going to go... We're going to make a canal of three wide. I'll let them build that real quick. 
That's gonna actually before we get to that. See the fertility here is 86 at the moment in this field. Watch what it is after this is built. They can also skinny dip in this, which is a big bonus. <laughs> Okay, the fertility here now, or will be, should be, 100%, yeah, an accident has occurred, oh no, there was one death, okay, we don't have any hospitals, somehow I missed this one, uh, oh, because it's in the fee it's in the thing already, okay, <clears throat> I think that was three tiles wild, yeah, okay, so we're going to build a farm, ten tiles, let's see here, we could actually think about doing a herb farm. Do we have any money? Not really. Actually, let's sell some more wood real quick. We're going to sell... Uh, we could set a standing order to sell wood, but I'm just going to do a... Can we do a couple of these? Stored. Yeah, it's going down. Okay, we did a bunch of sales there. We're going to get some money flowing in from that. Okay. We're going to put another farm in here. Let's do a uh, veg farm. I'm going to start it up here. Well, we'll do it over here. One, two... We're going to make it ten tall. And I guess we'll go... 20 wide. So a 20 by 10 vegetable farm. We'll say okay. And then we'll do some canals on the other side here. Dig canal. Three tiles wide. And this should be like a super nice... What happened here? Oh, it's being built. This should be a super fertile area <clears throat> once we get this done. And we kind of need the food anyway, so good that we're putting it in now. Now it's going to use up some vegetables to plant that, unfortunately, but it's kind of, have to, we have to do it. Okay, fertility in here now for the whole farm. Uh, fertility is 100%. Yay! So instead of getting like this one up here, for instance, is fertility 96. So we're only getting 96% of what we could be getting. It actually went up because of this canal here. So this is kind of how I'm going to build my farms from now on. And if we run out of water table, we can just fill in this uh, river here. In fact, we could start squaring off stuff right now, like uh, remove water. We can make a square this off a little bit. Make it nice and straight. Fill in the land. And that should bring our water table back. It's kind of cool. You don't lose any water at all, which is really nice. Okay, so they're going to plant here. Oh, the food's, food's looking good. The harvest just came in. So that's good. I'm going to build a ration maker. I love how this is 100%. How many bars of metal? We need a few. We need two more bars of metal. Let's buy that so we can get that upgrade going. How much can we buy? Um, 2.9k. We're going to bring this down a little bit. We'll buy a little bit. So we can do that. And I might chop these trees down because we're probably going to put some fields in here. Let's check the fertility. Base fertility. It's pretty good right here. I think I'll just keep going left though. We could go down here as well. But that's kind of the, the idea here. To irrigate, irrigate your fields it works pretty nicely. Okay, we need some kind of a law and order here. Crime. Prison. I guess we need some prisons. I haven't actually looked at that at all yet uh military infrastructure oh law here we go 
Guard post, dungeon. Oh, guard post will help with crime. That requires armor. Kind of expensive. Dungeons where caught criminals and other prisoners are taken. That requires metal. Man. Scaffolds. Okay, executions make our people unhappy, so we probably won't do that. The stock, send criminals. This all takes metal. Court takes money. Let's just see what this would, would cost. 14 armor. Man, that's expensive. Okay, we won't do that just yet. Oh, this little bit here was an experiment. Uh, for our fruit fields. But we're gonna have to plant some some herbs and spices here. Uh, let's maybe do that. Let's see if, we can, if there's any out there, first of all, that we can harvest. Uh, there's some drugs down here. What's this? This is cotton. Mushrooms. Oh, there's some. No, that's hay. At least I think it is. Let's double check. I think it's grain. Oh, that's herbs. That is herbs. Is that set to harvest? I don't think so. Let's, uh... Let's harvest that. Harvest all wild edibles. Unclaimed. They should come up and get this. Here they come. Yeah, nice. And the reason we wanted that was so that we could start making um, rations, but I need a, a place for my ration building to go. How are we doing our food? 25 days of food. We can probably take on some more people. Let's see how many there are here waiting. 52. Let's take on a smaller amount. I don't want to go too hog wild with our hog nation here. 200. And we got a thousand research points. Okay, there's probably some other goodies we can get. Schooling. Schooling's probably a good idea. We don't have any baby making facilities yet though. Lighting might be good. Graveyards probably are good. Opium farming. <clears throat> this could be a good cash crop. How much does this cost? 800 research. Husbandry methods. That could help us a little bit. Uh, what else do we got here? Brewery. We'll probably want to get into grains and drinks. A weaver might be nice. We got a bunch of cotton. Let's do the weaver. <laughs> we'll do that. What's this one? Charcoaler. We're gonna really go hog wild into the uh, farming bits. Tailoring basics. This could be good. This only costs 100 points and will give us a 5% boost. Let's do that. And you know what? Mm, carpentry basics. Unlocks the bower. Maybe we should make a bower. That probably requires metal, but maybe not. Um, curved woods. Wood. Now let's try this. We might be able to make some of that. Uh, and then we gotta let our research points come back a little bit. This green stuff, Sith Elon mine, this stuff's super valuable. We might want to mine that eventually. I don't want to go too crazy with the population, uh, but let's do that ration maker. Gotta have to just find a place to do it. Oh, and I'm, I'm gonna knock down this archery range because I kind of screwed this up when I did it. Let's delete that, and I'm going to rebuild it better this time, because I screwed it up last time. Military archery range. Yeah, let's go... I think something like this. It, the training targets... Yeah, look at this. It wasn't very space efficient before. So we'll put that in. We'll shrink the room here, so it's just as big as, needs, as it needs to be. That should be good. Requires eight bows. Uh, yeah, we got eight bows now. Get that built. 
I'm gonna set up an auto sell thing for the wood here. Export level. If you slide this thing, you can see export 25% of warehouse stock went above 1300. Currently we'll sell 218. We'll put that up a little bit. So that should auto sell stuff for us. Get the income rolling in, because we need money. Now where should we put that new building? <clears throat> the uh, bower. Or actually, ration maker is what I want to make first, but what's the bower take? Metal. I'm going to forget that for now. Okay, ration maker. This one is kind of a weird shaped building. Uh, I might put it... This might be a noisy one. Some of my rooms are kind of tiny here. Maybe we'll put it up... Hmm. Maybe down here? Like I said, this one's a little bit weird. Uh, this might be too small, actually. Yeah. Cancel that. Hmm, where should we put it? Got a woodcutter up here. Kind of want to preserve those woods. We could put it here. I think it's going to put out some noise, though. What do we got in here? The tailor. The hunter. This hunter. I might, I might move the hunter. It's actually getting some cotton. I might move this hunter. Yeah, let's remove. Smart remove. You know what, let's go fast here, get this done. Okay, the archery range is back. Conscript 8. We'll be able to train archers much faster that way. We don't have that many bows for them, but that's okay. Okay, let's do the ration maker. The ration maker. This, Like I said, this building's a little bit tricky to get everything in correctly. If we do it like this, this might work. Because we got to get storage in there. We got to get the workbench, which is a kind of an odd shape in there. And we want to get the auxiliary station. That actually worked. Perfect. Okay. We need eight pottery. We got 80. We're good. We're golden. 21 clay. Uh, I seem to be out of clay. And I'm not sure why, because I do have a clay pit. But let's build that. After we add some doors. Door there. Maybe a door here. <clears throat> Roads actually require upkeep, so that's a thing. Um, so you don't want to go too crazy with the roads, but the roads definitely help them move around. I don't like how the overlay changes when you go to build the roads, but... What are you going to do? What's this over here? Training ground? I want to probably make this bigger as well at some point. Okay, what's going on with our clay? Something down here is not quite working. Production. Deployment. We have to put some more people in there. We definitely have lots of people. Let's just go crazy there. Production zero. Okay, the deposits are really low here. There are more clay deposits here. Into the water, kind of. I might rebuild this. Let's delete this. I don't like it. Yes, delete it. Oh, uh, I wonder if we get our stuff back. Probably not. It's probably better to dismantle it. Yeah. We're going to remove this housing as well and fix it. Okay, let's check that clay again. We're going to build into the water here, so I'm going to fill the water. Remove water. Let's remove all this water. Square that off a little bit. Keeping an eye on food. We'll eventually get into like conquesting out on the map. But I want to get more established here first. Okay, that's pretty much done. 
Uh, I kind of want to cover most of this deposit. <clears throat> At least the juicy parts of it. Uh, it looks like it actually does get used up maybe over time. So that's a thing. Clay, clay pit. We could just buy clay as well. But let's go like this. I think that'll cover a good chunk of it. 24 tools, storage. Oh man. Storage. I don't want to cover any of the juiciest deposit. So maybe over here. Auxiliaries. We'll put that down there. Efficiency 58. Deposits 9. That's really crap. Hmm. We could just buy clay instead. But I think I'll go with that. Can we put more auxiliaries? I guess it's the 67. Yeah, let's go with that. And then we'll need housing here. <clears throat> We're going to put a... Let's see here. A longhouse. That should be big enough for them. Definitely big enough. That'll hold 15, I think. At least. We'll probably take some more people on. Let's do it. Nine more. Four more. Get that clay mine up. Get some people employed here. Happiness went down a little bit. We gotta keep that happiness up at 100%. Oh, winter's coming. We're missing one furniture here. There we go, finally. <laughs> okay, there they go. Look at them all. That used up all our people. Okay, we get, uh, we're, at least we're getting a bonus now. But the output of this thing is still not good. 32 per day. That's a lot of clay. Okay. Let's go check our ration maker here. Back in town. That's missing... Some clay. Okay, that'll come in eventually. Go turbo speed here. Keeping an eye on the food. You can see it going down, but the harvest will come in eventually. Uh-oh. A case of white shimmer has been discovered. We probably want to think about a hospital. Let's go check that out. I think there's a hospital here we can get. A physician. Let's get the physician. What does he take to build? Um, health. Physician. Okay. Uh, requires tools and cut stone. Probably want this to be somewhat central. There's a little block here we could put it in. Services. I don't know how big it should be. Let's see how big the work workbench is. <clears throat> it's actually not too bad. Maybe we want this to be bigger though. And you'll, you can see the roof is not... Is yellow there? That might be possible to build. We'll see in a second here. Oh, some shelves. The shelves? Oh, those are skinny. 22 tools. Expensive. We'll build this later when we have money. <laughs> uh, someone died. Someone died. We can just import more, right? What's going on down here? Uh, workforce. We need more people. Speaking of more people, let's bring in another five. Happiness is really low. 78, what's going on? It's probably the food reserves, to be honest. Services, occupation. 
Employed, that's fine. Work time. Okay, they don't care about that value. It says retirement age. Fulfillment. Retirement. No one needs retiring yet, I don't think. Universities. Okay, maybe we need a university. Educate. Don't know much about the school stuff, so. We have 33 homeless. Okay. Uh, let's build more homes. What's going on in here? 15 vacancies. I think this guy will move in. Oh, you know what? I think it's... We put so many workers down here that I think that might be the problem. Yeah, we got... How many people work in here? 45. Okay, we definitely need more housing here. <laughs> this is 15. Let's just build two more here. Uh, we could make them bigger. I'm going to stack them up, though, just because I think it'll look nicer. Actually, you know what? That one should be overlapping. Let's uh, cancel that. Good jobs. Try that again. We'll overlap the inner wall there so we don't have to double that up. Save materials. There we go. That should house all those people. 15, 30, 45 should be. Good. We probably have a lot of clay now. Let's just see. 30 clay. We're going to bring this down slightly. Oh, you know what? We need the people anyway, so let's bring this down a little bit more. We need a few free bodies. Odd jobbers. Probably some roads here as well. I can find it. Civics. Roads. <laughs> okay, we'll put a road along here. Actually, they're coming in. The door's over here, so we'll put a road here. For some reason, I like the roads to be too wide. I think it looks nicer. Oh, someone's skinny dipping. <laughs> this homeless should go down once this gets built. Research points are coming in. Are they going down? Slaver, we won't do anything with the slaver. I think these are going down. I saw it go tick down. Yeah, it's ticking down. What's up with that? Um, hmm. Could put some more points in bartering. That's going to get us more cash. What else could we do here? Oh yeah, schooling. 1,200. Lighting, graveyards. Let's do a proper graveyard, I think. Would be a good idea. That might make them happier. Okay, what's going on here? Cleared. Uh, let's clear some trees here so they get logs right away. We definitely have lots of logs. We did get that metal, so let's go up boost the research in one of these buildings. Upgrade. 28 metal. Yes, please. So that upgraded that big time. So the knowledge should flow in faster now. In theory. Might want to shrink some of my smaller laboratories. I kind of want to keep stacking them in here, so maybe we'll... 
let's put a nice graveyard somewhere. Uh, maybe not in the farming district. <laughs> let's put it on the outskirts of the city, maybe. Because you can't easily move it once it's built. We could put it over here. The graveyard costs stone as well. Oh, look at this. We got a bunch of different things. Trees, flowers, pathway. We can make a really nice... Okay. We'll have the road coming out of town, and then we'll put a nice big-ass graveyard here. Graves. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put it right against the edge. We make it bigger. No. Trees. Nice tree in there. Some flowers. Lovely. A little nice little pathway. Uh, I didn't leave room for the pathway, but we'll put it right there. Actually, we'll put it the pathway over here. And then the another set of graves here. I think that should work. 68 stone, 96 wood. That'll be a nice, beautiful... And then we'll put a road going over here. Yeah, that should be nice. We still have six homeless. Is that maybe in this region then? No, we still have... Uh, Lots of vacancies here. I'm not quite sure where the housing is missing. Uh, longhouse here. Oh, they never finished this yet. Still being worked on. Okay. Go full speed. <clears throat> full speed ahead. That should fix this. Once they move in. Still being worked on. Okay, we're oh we're out of workers again. Okay, we're gonna take this clay down another few. Okay, there. Homeless is zero. Okay, good. Slow it back down. We'll check our overall happiness. Okay, we're back to 100%. Okay, good. Happiness, happiness 100 is what we wanted. But we ran out of time here. So, um, I'm going to wrap it up here. I think the village is coming along pretty nicely. Uh, next episode we'll put in... We're going to just keep building the population, building the military... Maximizing happiness. Maybe get some education going on next time. And maybe some law stuff. And some healthcare. Just keep getting the facilities going. And we need some kind of cash crop. I think I'm going to do drugs. <laughs> I'm going to sell some drugs. Because I think drugs sell pretty well. We'll sell this livestock that we have just now. Sell all that. For 5.8k. But if you look here, the opium or whatever it's called, the opiate sells for 240. Oh no, we buy it for 240. But we can sell it for 52. So I think it's worthwhile to research this because we're good at farming. And it's also needed in hospitals, I think. We're actually making rations now as well, so that's good. It's all coming together. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.